YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, we've got an update today for you. Um, once you've updated your FGR8B, I think this one is, um, you can now use the external battery voltage monitor function. Now, there's a couple of different ways of using this. So, if you're only monitoring your main LiPo pack, you only need to use the positive and you want it in the end one to measure the entire pack voltage. Um, you don't need to use the negative because it's already connected through the receiver and the uh, ESC. Now, what FlySky advises, if you're only measuring this one pack and it's the pack that you're running your ESC off, you can tape this negative one up because it's not needed. They do advise actually cutting it off entirely, but I won't do that in case you ever want to use it. I'd just tape it up or put some heat shrink over the end um, and seal it up completely. Mainly because if you plug that negative into any of the positives by mistake, it'll create a dead short and it will at least burn out the voltage monitoring on the uh, receiver and it can apparently kill the entire receiver as well. So you want to be avoiding that. Now, what this is designed for is, say you'd got a separate LiPo. So, let's see if we've got one kicking around here. So, say you'd got like a separate little LiPo pack and it's monitoring, um, it's running your LED lights or something else. And this pack isn't connected to the ESC in any way. You obviously then you haven't got the ground already from your ESC so you'd plug the negative into the uh, negative cable the positive into the positive and that would let you monitor this pack from your receiver as an external battery pack so that's what the negative terminals for but right so first thing we need to do is power up as uh, MB4 so once we've got that on we then power up the RC and you'll see you've got your normal readout so you want to tap on this tap on choose, choose sensor pick the sensor you want to swap out tap on the sensor name scroll all the way to the bottom and then this is the screen that you can also set your battery alarm if you like so if we turn that on and let's have a look so the high alarm i think 3s lipo fully charged what's that about 12.6 volt off the top of my head so set it just above that because you you're not really concerned about the voltage being too high um, your charger is going to take care of not overcharging your battery but the one we're interested in is the lower alarm so basically with this one if you're running a 3S and you want the maximum discharge to be 3.3 volt, so you just multiply 3.3 volt by the number of cells you've got. So on a 2S it would be 6.6 .6 or 9.9 .9 on a 3S. And then if we set this to 9.9, .9, so basically when this external voltage monitor reads that that pack is hitting 9.9 .9 volt you'll get an alarm on your radio um, so you know to stop using your car i know most modern escs have uh, lvc protect built in um, but sometimes it's just nice depending on which one you're using i know some are better than others and you might just want to not run it down to lower than say 3.5 volts per cell and this just gives you a good way of seeing what's happening and knowing as soon as the battery's uh, voltage is dropping. So if we then back out of that menu, and then what you've got here, so your DVB voltage now is your voltage at what your battery is currently at. Then you've got your RX voltage, which is what your ESC is providing to the receiver. So you can keep an eye on that as well. And then your TX voltage is obviously your battery in your MB4. But that's how you want it set up. So it goes in that very top socket. And uh, on the TRX4, I've just brought it through here. And I may put another tie wrap on it. 
but I'm not running another battery to run my LEDs or anything, so I'm just going to pop some heat shrink over this just to make sure it doesn't accidentally short out on any of the positive pins or anything else that I've got left open. So we'll get that done quickly. All right. So I've just got a bit of heat shrink on there, and if you leave it a bit long, you can either stick it into one of them shock shaft holes or shock screw holes just to keep it out of the way um, or you can pop it in there or you can tape it back to it or tie wrap it to some of these wires multiple different things you can do to just keep it safe and out way I prefer taking that approach to chopping it off because if at any point I want to use an external battery and monitor it I can do but yeah that's it all set up that's the lipo alarm set up and all working so thanks again for watching WTFRC cars if you like, like and subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you guys again later. Oh, yeah.